today we're going to be checking out this car buffer slash polisher. That's right, you plug it up, you put the wax on your car, you use this to buff it and polish it down, smooth that paint out and protect it from the elements. And I think this is going to do a fine job. But let's go ahead, we're going to open it up, take a look at it, and see exactly what we're going to get. All right, let's see what's in here. You get a case. A carrying bag is always welcome. Helps you keep all the parts nice and organized. Inside, you can already see that you get a wide variety of different types of foam pads. That's for your buffing and polishing. Six different colors all together. You also have the wheels that you attach the foam pads to. You get more than one and they're different sizes. This is 150 millimeter and this one is a 180 millimeter. And let's see what these little pads are. These are actually different grits of sandpaper. You have a thousand grit. This is if uh, paint is in really really bad shape and you really need to get rid of orange peel and other imperfections like that. You have 2000 and 1000 grit and then you have these right here. And I'm going to show you what these are. These are actually the polishing pads. So after you've done your buffing, your sanding and your buffing then this is what you put on for the that final coat to get that final shine to make everything look nice and beautiful. You're going to get tools and an extra set of brushes for the motor inside the actual polisher. You get the side handle. You get three of these pads all together. Here's another handle for the polisher. And finally, we get to the polisher itself. And check out this dude right here. Quite heavy duty. Right here, these screws, this is what you would remove if you needed to change out the brushes. Because you are going to get a lot of runtime on this. Especially if you're using it for finishing paint, buffing, and then polishing and waxing as well. It does just plug into your 110. You can see how slow this thing is turning. Let me put a pad on here real quick so you can see how slow this thing is actually spinning. And just to make it fun, this is not how you would use this. I just want you to have a reference to be able to see how fast this spins. And that's the slowest setting right there. So you can see it starts slow and then it will slowly start speeding up. If you want to go faster, you have your speed knob right here. You can go all the way up to say level seven. Which is uh, quite fast as you just heard. Let's see what level three is. So there you go, very, very nice. You also have a locking button right here that you just push this down and you can just back it off. Just like that. As you can see it's a very very complete kit. You're going to get the actual buffer itself. You're going to get five of these 2000 grit pads, five 1000 grit pads. You get the 150 millimeter wheel. If you have larger pads then you can also use this 180 millimeter pad. You get a top handle, you get a side handle, you get three polishing covers right here and then you're also going to get six foam wheels that are of different stiffness of foam for different applications. And then of course the manual for the buffer polisher. So overall a very complete kit has everything that you need in here to get started plus some extras and just looks like it's going to get the job done. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.